Yes, we are live here at Temper Crypto TV. Welcome back, welcome back on a Tuesday evening. We are live one more time. We are live here at Temper Crypto TV. Yes, uh, Crypto Cindy, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And how are you, Crypto King? I'm well, I'm very well. I'm great. I'm super. I'm super. Um, there's no bad day in the crypto space. Um, it's always good days. It's <laughs> always marvelous days in the crypto space do you think there is a bad day in the crypto yes there is a bad day in crypto you know in a bad day in crypto there is a day when when you want to put money in and buy crypto but you don't and then you keep on saying tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it and then a few days or a few hours later you see that the coin that you wanted to buy is actually given people so much return so that is a bad day for you because you are now saying why didn't are you kicking yourself in the back so that is your bad day but that doesn't mean it's everyone else's bad day so that is a bad day in crypto for sure and you know what's uh, another bad day in the crypto space is when uh, you see the market is really attractive it's very much interesting and you wanna buy you wanna buy the deep you have got uh, so many coins that you you know, you're interested in, you want to buy, but your pockets have holes. You do not yes. have any funds. You do not have any fiat currencies um, to buy the dip. That's a really bad time, bad day. I think that's the worst day. That is the worst day because on that day, you just don't actually know why are you still alive because who can you call you just want to call someone you're just trying to find you're emptying all your bags you know us ladies you've got so many bags you start emptying your bags you start checking <laughs> checking on your phone who owes you so that day becomes the longest day of your life because you're searching everywhere physically on your phone everywhere who can give you money who owes you which bag which jean has money which you've never washed for a while so ooh, that is the worst day ever yeah, well, um, there are always opportunities uh, in the crypto space. You miss one, you catch another one. You miss this bus, there's another one coming. But of course, there are some buses where if you miss them, there will never be another similar bus like uh, the one that you just missed. It's gone and it's gone, it's gone and it's gone. So yeah, so as opportunities in the crypto space, this is the most important time. This is the most attractive time to buy cryptocurrencies uh five years ten years from now you wish you would have uh, done it so you wish you would have uh, gotten involved in this market at this very much time that we are talking about it all right uh yesterday what did you discuss crypto cindy what was the discussion do you mind uh reminding our viewers here Okay. So yesterday we were speaking about the Cardano summit, which took place this previous weekend. So we were just going through what was happening there, the new partnerships that Cardano is involved in. So we're just talking about the summit, making sure that even though we were not there, but we are making sure that the message that was conveyed there is actually conveyed to us and also to our viewers the same way. So yesterday we're just catching up, making sure everyone understands the new projects and the existing projects that Cardano is involved with or is actually starting partnership with from this weekend, that this past weekend going forth. All right, where can one buy Cardano in South Africa? Do you have a few exchanges where one can buy Cardano in South Africa? Yes, in South Africa, you can buy from, I am one, I like buying from Binance, you can buy from Binance, you can buy from altcoin traders, um, not sure about Luno, you can buy, yeah, those are the ones that I usually use, but there's also another one called Valra, and guess what, there's a new one, there's a new company, which is a new exchange, which is in Cape Town called Revex, I've also seen that they are also now selling Cardano as a stand standalone coin. As in the Revex, ah, we must get them into the show and uh, hear what they offer and uh, talk about their exchange. I mean, they are South African exchange. We're all about yes. promoting companies, local companies. Uh, we give them exposure to people so that, uh, you know, they grow. We're all about growing the crypto community, cryptocurrency, growing everyone investors traders crypto community 
we want everyone to be on the same level when it comes to the knowledge and experience in this market. Yes. All right. Uh, yes, Empire FM. Welcome. Welcome back. We are live here at Empire Crypto TV. We are live on a Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. Um, do not forget to share this live broadcast to your friends. Uh, invite everyone. Invite your teams, your groups. Tell them we are live here. We're all about sharing this very much important information to you and to your circle. So, yes, do not leave other people behind. Um. Do remember also to say something on the comment section. Uh, tell us where you're watching this live broadcast from. And uh, of course, if you've got some questions, if you've got some compliments, comment, do make use of uh, the comment section. All right, uh, what's the discussion of the day? Crypto Cindy, set us a light. Okay, so today we will be talking about Internet of Things, IoT. This is one word that we've also been seeing a lot and some people have been doing some research to find out what it is and some people are like ah i'll get it along the way so today we'll be unpacking that to make sure that everyone every one of us understands what the internet of things is how it impacts our daily life and how it will actually help us in future so today we'll be talking the whole show about internet of things all right um remember empire firm here we discuss blockchain solutions cryptocurrencies there's so many other projects that are involved in this uh, space so um as opposed to just learning how to buy how to trade we also cover all the projects that are sy projects systems solutions that are all in this market so that uh, you brought in up more your mind your your um, your, your experience um the more experience you are in this market the more profitable you can be the more useful um you can be in this market so yes there's so much to cover and there's so much to learn on this market if you want to become a pro if you want to become a very profitable person in this market you need to learn everything and there's so much knowledge there's so many things that if you do not research you find yourself left behind people are always upgrading in this market there's always new information coming in this market so take it up to unto you to research to look for this information to find this information and of course here temper crypto tv we are committed to bring uh this information first hand to you breaking news to you what's whatever is happening all over the world we break it to you all right uh crypto cindy can you take us uh deep what is iota what is iota crypto can you can you just break it down for our viewers and let's get moving okay so before i break it down i just want the viewers to see a video quickly about what we'll be talking about uh there is Okay, so I think we saw that and we understood that. Eh? So basically, this guy's house is a house that is actually, he has actually put voice command on almost everything on his house. So basically, what happens there is 
he sets the things in his house to listen to his voice so it knows his voice his specific voice and then he had a toothache he went to the dentist he came back and you know what happens when you come from the dentist your voice changes because your voice your mouth your mouth is numb and sometimes even it's actually even a bit bigger than the normal size so when he gets home he says open door but it's not the same voice that he's using. So <laughs> the voice command doesn't do that because it's not used to his voice like that. So it thinks that he's saying music on the floor. So he start playing music and he's trying to say open door, open door. When he's inside, he wants to say fire, but he says higher. So the music goes higher. So it just <laughs> tries to show you that he, what happens in technology. Yes, he was doing it to help him and it was helping him a lot because he would just wake up and ask for all his appointments and you'll just say appointment for the day and get those commands that no appointment or whenever the appointment is. But now because something has gone wrong with his voice, everything is just going wrong. So that's just the message that I want to show you about Internet of Things. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so right, it's uh, he's using his voice to command things. I mean, to command yes. his, uh, his door to open, to command his... Uh, um uh, tools in his house his machines yes. in the, in his house but now because he's gone to the doctor his voice has changed because he took out his tooth so now his yes. voice has changed now things are, are really really bad you can't really it's, it's more like also um the phones i've seen smartphones where people use their thumbnails or their um what we call this the th thumbnails to open their the, yes. the, the phones so it's a uh, do, do we also call that Internet of Things? Exactly. That is also part of Internet of Things. So all these new technologies that are coming in, which were not there previously, are part of what we'll be talking about today, which is Internet of Things. Mm, okay. Fascinating indeed. Fascinating topic indeed. Um, which, which crypto is the Internet of Things? Um, Okay, so the crypto which is actually much involved and is part of Internet of Things is called IOTA. Now, it's just a distributed ledger designed to record and to execute transactions between machines and devices on the Internet of Things, which is just an ecosystem. Now, this ledger uses cryptocurrency called MyOTA to, um, to account for transactions in this network. So you see the crypto space is not being left behind. Crypto is also involved in the Internet of Things. All right. So all this is happening in the fourth industrial revolution, I believe, where most of the things are, are becoming automated, are yes. becoming automated. That's where Internet of Things is getting also um, a gist and uh, involvement in the um automation of uh different things what is an example of an iota blockchain system do you have to do you say anything on that do you can you um educate us on that okay so an example of one is basically called net net object which was just created to standardize decentralized mechanism of the Internet of Things device to communicate with one another. Now, this company's blockchain enables the IoT token just to provide a secure digital platform for smart devices in the same ecosystem to interact and to communicate. Okay. All right. How is blockchain applicable in the Internet of Things? Um, we, we just want to, you know, go deeper into this topic because it's a, it's a bit complicated. And we want to break it down for our viewers, for Empire Firm, so that uh, everyone, even the person who really just joined us today, they can actually get the clue or the a bit of understanding what we're talking about remember these are uh, these things are new to our people and uh, like we said at the beginning there's so much to learn on the blockchain space too much okay so blockchain is basically helping compact security breaches in the internet of things system we know that blockchain is just a distributed ledger technology so it combines so when it's actually combined with the Internet of Things, it basically makes machine to machine transactions possible. So we don't need humans. It just makes things work without any 
person having to press a button or any other person needing to approve. So that is basically what it does. And it also can be used with the Internet of Things in smart homes, like we've seen the guy in the smart home. It's also in supply chains, also in logistics, and also in other industries, just as we know, we spoke about previously in things like smart contracts. All right. Um, what devices are IOTA? I mean, IOTA. Um, what devices? Are any devices IOTA, Internet of Things? or they are selected devices. Can my knife in the kitchen become <laughs> an iota or my, um, my spaniela uh, in my storeroom <laughs> here, can it become an iota? What devices are iota? Now, the devices are actually devices which include wireless sensors, they need a software, so it's just computer devices so it's anything that is computerized which we actually call smart these days so anything that is smart so just your normal object that you buy which was not smart like your knife in the kitchen unfortunately it's not one of the internet of things because that's something that we use manually and it needs you to pick it up and to cut whatever you need to cut it won't just automatically work without you putting an effort. So in the internet of things, these are things which you just command, whether you're using your fingers, you're using your voice, or you're just pressing in, that, then those are smart things because they don't need you to physically stand and go do manually like we did previously. Okay, why is blockchain important for IOTA? Why is blockchain so much involved and uh, give that importance of, uh, in this uh, IOTA system. Okay, so using blockchain basically to store the Internet of Things data would add another layer of security so that hackers, like we know, we all don't want our cryptos and anything in our blockchain to be hacked. So this just helps in terms of adding a layer in terms of security so that hackers don't actually get hold of whatever information that is there or actually try to temper or we know maybe try to amend or erase things on the blockchain. So this is the importance of blockchain. And we also know that blockchain provides a much more robust level of encryption. So that basically just means that everything that we know that is there in the blockchain, it cannot be amended. So Internet of Things just makes sure that whatever is there is there to stay. No one can amend or actually just try to remove and take all the information that is there. We're also talking a lot about blockchain uh, while you're talking about IOTA. We, we keep on like talking about blockchain. Um, what is blockchain internet? What is blockchain internet in relation with this topic and stuff? Okay, so blockchain is just encrypted digital database shared by several parties in a distributed network, like we spoke about blockchain previously, we know that. So any transactions that occurred in the network is recorded, it is then verified, and it's also stored in a database. So transactions are broadcast to all network participants, now creating an unalterable transaction. So making sure that nothing can be altered or amended or fixed we like fixing things so this makes sure that no one is there trying to fix anything all right interesting topic indeed um wanna learn more and more on this uh discussion of the day what are the most common iota applications uh do you have any image results and stuff okay so in terms of those, there are quite a few. We'll just speak about just seven, seven areas. So we've seen it in the manufacturing or industrial industry. We've seen it in transportation or mobility. We've seen the Internet of Things also in energy. Remember, in transport, it's basically things like the lift. The lift is also part of the Internet of Things. But now imagine if there's a lift where you don't even have to touch with your fingers. And you just call it and say uh, level five and it comes to the level. It takes you up wherever you want to do and it helps you with stuff. So those are kind of examples in the mobility. Then we've got it in energy, energy. So maybe you're in the house, you just do a voice command. It's too hot. You've got an air con and it just cools you down. So those are the kinds of examples. We've seen it in retail. So in retail, we've also heard that shops like I think it was earlier this year, 
Chekas was also introducing uh, introducing something whereby you don't need a cashier. Yes, we call them cashiers. You don't need a cashier in order to pay for your groceries. You can just bring your groceries and the till will automatically scan your stuff and make you pay. So those are part of examples of retail. And then cities, cities, Johannesburg is one of the cities which are called the smart cities. Smart cities is places where when you can go to Johannesburg, you can just log on and put in your the password for the Wi-Fi and get Wi-Fi just automatically. So that's a smart city. And then in the healthcare, which is a very big problem, all know people have had so many problems in the healthcare, especially with losing your card. When you've lost your card, you can't get medication. The doctors can't treat you. They don't know who you are, what you were given previously. So this has been a major issue. So the Internet of Things in terms of healthcare means that should you lose your card or not, you can go to the doctor. They can just check up on the system depending on how your details were loaded on the system and they can find you and you can get the treatment that you are always on. So you won't be going back home without your medication just because you do not have your card. And the last example that I'm gonna give today is the supply chain. So in the supply chain, we know that usually we've got manpower. So the people who are hired to produce stuff, but if now, now we've seen that they are actually robots. Robots are producing more than people robots don't take leave robots don't get sick and robots can actually produce much more than humans because they don't take tea break they don't take lunch they are never on strike <laughs> so that's an example of the supply chain example of the internet of things so you can just whatever software you're using command it and tell it how many units of what you need put an example there and you print we've also been seeing this a lot in the embroidery part so you see a person when you want them to embroider things for you they just put your logo onto the system from there automatically the machine start printing exactly that so this is a very good example of internet of things all right um you just mentioned now a very important uh, uh thing like uh, robots uh ai machine artificial intelligence that yes. they do not have problems that human being uh, bring about, bring forth into the workspace. If you were an employer yourself um, with a, a huge number of uh, employees, um, uh, would you prefer the machines, the artificial intelligent uh, machines, or you would go with human beings? What would you do, would you do yourself? I would personally go with the machines. Machines can work 24 hours. As long as you service them, you make sure they are serviced, they work. Unlike human beings. Human beings, we start at 8, 5 o'clock. We are so tired. By 3 o'clock, we're actually dragging our feet and keep on looking at the time. When is knock off time? So machines are actually very good when it comes to production. So what I always tell people is that wherever you are working, never be too comfortable and say that I am the only person that is pressing that button on whatever you're doing, mainly because of technology. Technology is replacing so many jobs. So the best thing to do is always keep up your game. Make sure you're learning new stuff and make sure you look at the market around. So you look at the career market, you check what careers are in demand. There are so many people who've got degrees, who've got masters, who are sitting at home, mainly because what they studied is not what is actually looked for currently in the market. So if you are at a privilege whereby you are working, whatever salary you are getting, use that to improve yourself, to educate yourself and get a new skill because machines are here to replace us, guys. So by your thinking, you are one of the people who are contributing to the vast unemployment uh, in the work, <laughs> in the community, because, I mean, you are favoring the machines um, uh, against uh, human workforce. But remember, I am saying that, yes, machines are right, but machines need people in order to make them. So imagine now. We've got around 11 million people in South Africa sitting because they do not have jobs or do not have required skills. But if some people are now working and they're educating themselves and learning about Internet of Things, they are looking for what qualifications do I need in order to be part of this Internet of Things? Do you see what's going to happen? 
we are not going to be sitting at home with our degrees just to press a button, but we are now going to be making these machines which are now internet of things. Because remember, these machines, when they break, they need people to fix them. Do we need people coming all the way from China to fix them while we've got 11 million people in South Africa sitting at home saying they're unemployed? All right, that's a topic for another day. It uh, deserves uh, its uh, space <laughs> and time. Yes. But yeah, we'll talk about it some other time. All right, let's continue. What's, what's, what's the future of uh, IoT? Um, is it something, is it a bubble, something which is here today and then it's going to disappear and then we go back to how we do things, we go back to our manual doing of things or is something that is going to, you know, keep on being upgraded to the next level, um, going to the next level. We saw in the, in the past, I mean, even with cell phones, they started as big cell phones. In fact, they started uh, as uh, these... Uh, um, uh, phones with uh, wires whereby yes. every household did one phone. I mean, every household did one phone. Um, if your boyfriend or your girlfriend is phoning, <laughs> the whole house will be there. The, your listening. parents will be there listening to your conversation. You end up really saying nothing <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> but the guy is phoning from a distance, is very far, and you have said nothing because the whole family is there. All right, we started from there when they phone. There was only one phone in the house, but it kept on upgrading. Now we've got cell phones. Though remember back in year 2000, those Motorola phones, big ones, up until now, we've got smartphones. They are very smart, they are very small, and they are very, very portable. So is this IOTA thing, IOTA equipment, IOTA machines, uh, IOTA devices, are they actually going to be here for a long term or they are just here maybe for a short while? before we go back to our manual stuff? Unfortunately, we are not going back. We are not going back. We are moving forward. So this is something that if you haven't adjusted to, if you are still doing your laundry manually and if you can see almost everyone now has a washing machine, guys. So no one wants to go back. We are all moving forward. Instead, you see what's happening. We had the normal phones then now we've moved to smartphones. So instead of us actually saying the Internet of Things is something that's going to phase away, unfortunately not. It will just keep on improving. So from the technology that we see today, tomorrow something even better is actually going to come up. So it will just keep on improving, improving, improving. But we are definitely not going back to the olden ways. That is the reason why we still have our shoes on. We are not saying we are going back to the olden days and we are removing our shoes. We are walking barefooted. So this is part of the things that we are not going to change. We just have to adapt and we need to make sure that we catch up. All right. Uh, what's the impact of IOTA in the community, in the government space, uh, in the um, business, in business space also, and uh, in the community in general? What, what, what's the impact? Okay, so basically this has a very positive impact, especially in the citizens, in businesses and in governments. It's basically very, very important and significant because of also the examples that I've been giving. We've also seen that it's actually making things much easier and faster. So it also be helping the government because we've always seen that when you go to the government hospitals, you've got shortage. There's always shortage of medication. There's always shortage of that. We don't know how many people are inside. Are they looking at people inside or what's happening? So with such improvements in technology, this is actually going to make sure that everyone who is at work and is attending to people, so they can actually see how many people you've attended, where is the medication, how many people got medication today. So this is actually going to be helping us a lot. We've also seen in South Africa, whereby in January we've got problem with kids who don't have schools. So this is part of the things that will make sure that if we're all registering uh, and the internet, everything is done the smart way, 
all the kids will have space on time. So these are the kinds of resources that are actually going to help us a lot, not only in education, not only in terms of the healthcare and hospitals, but so much, so much, it actually going to be helping us in all different aspects of our lives, even in our homes. We've seen, we've got smart homes now, we are not all going to just one day have a smart home like we've seen that guy have on that video, but there are so many advanced things in our homes already. We already have Wi-Fi, we already have cell phones. Those are part of the internet of things which are making things easier. You can now book your appointments over the phone. You can now send emails. So instead of the olden ways whereby you needed to go to the post office and send your stuff. You can now send your CVs or whatever you need to send from the comfort of your home. So this is part of internet of things. We've seen people outside everywhere just putting those poles for fiber. This is internet of things. It's just those things that some people don't even know what those poles are for. So today I've told you the poles that you're seeing everybody putting close to the houses there. You're seeing people in pink t-shirts, green t-shirts. I've seen so many bright colors with the fiber guys all over the show. So this is exactly internet of things coming to your door now. It's knocking on our doors. Is this related to 5G? I mean, the 5G that we all scare of. I mean, there were some theories about 5G being the one that brought COVID or, uh, or COVID brought 5G or 5G brought COVID. Are they related COVID-19 and 5G? And are you talking also about uh, the same 5G when you are talking about Internet of Things? Uh, here you are talking about uh, these guys who are actually putting these uh, wireless or wired uh, telecommunications. Is this something related with 5G? Yes, 5G is also part of Internet of Things. Remember, we've had we, we had we had edge yes uh, so i know this cell phone things so first when our internet started on our phones it used to be edge so you'd have an e there uh next to those bars which shows you the internet and then it changed we moved to 3g it changed so it went then you'll see a four sometimes you just see a plus then now it's 5g so 5g just means that the same internet you are using is just becoming much faster so they've increased the speed. So instead of, you know, sometimes with the old ones, eh, when you were looking at a video, it will tell you buffering. And we'll do that circle, that round circle and say buffering. So it's still get, getting the video, getting the video very slowly. So with 5G, everything is just fast. So there's no buffering. There's no, you see a, something that's, as if it's got a scratch, like with the old CDs. So with the 5G, 5G is part of Internet of Things, and it is much faster internet. And 5G is definitely not giving us Corona, guys. Corona is said that it's something that we're getting through our respiratory systems. So if someone has it and someone coughs close to you, that's why we're keeping social distances. So 5G is not involved in that. Same thing was said about the internet. When the internet started, people were scared of the internet. People were saying, no, you're going to be cloned. So if your details are in the internet, someone else is going to be made, having your same things, having your face and everything. So those are just myths, guys. We must always make sure that when we hear such things, we do research so that you don't end up sitting at home and not moving mainly because you're scared of the pole that's outside your house and you don't even know the reason for that pole. All right, we hear what you're saying. I remember the old people in not very much uh, far, um, two, three years ago. I mean, when you talk about uh, WhatsApp, they used to say WhatsApp is Satanism. Um, why are you using WhatsApp and stuff? They seemed not so carried away by WhatsApp or they didn't really want to engage with WhatsApp. But nowadays, everyone, even your granny in the deep areas, is talking about WhatsApp. Please, Ntanami, I won't tell you WhatsApp. You know, yes. if one in the WhatsApp and stuff, <laughs> so it's it's everyone now they've gotten to understand that uh, it's just a type of communication. So, yeah, look, it's always very much. Um, scary um 
very much not acceptable in the beginning, but you, at the, as time goes on, we get to accept, we get to understand that this is just a means of uh, communication. But anyway, um, there's so much to talk about on the subject. Um, the next one that I would like to ask you, you spoke earlier about uh, 11 million of people who are unemployed, people who are not really working. So are there any career opportunities on this IOTA a thing of yours that you are talking about today are there any career opportunities that you can actually share with us here yes there are so many career opportunities in the internet of things and we know that mostly the people who'd be interested are people who are more in the innovative thinking and creative ability and those who just want excitement at work those who want to be uh, on their toes, on a professional development, and also it's also a high compensation. So you'll be getting a lot of money because of this, because it's part of IT. So it's also part of IT specialists. So these are some of the things that you must look for. But the first things first, make sure that you're somebody that is innovative, someone that's creative, that you don't do something, then when you need to go to work, you're dragging your feet. So there are so much opportunities, guys, in the internet of things, mainly because things are not the same as in the olden times where things were done manually. So things are now done with technology. So in order to get a job in technology, you must make sure that even if your subjects that you studied at school are not part of technology, but now you can actually do bridging courses, you can do online courses now and get your certificate and then you apply for a job. All right, uh, breaking news. What do we have for breaking news? Uh today what do we have on the breaking news breaking news all over the world so today on our breaking news it is today on our breaking news we have heard that the second largest ethereum mining pool is now suspending all its operations this is bad news this is basically bad 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 news that we heard today so this company was launched in 2018 in China, it's called Spark Pool. So it's one of the biggest Ethereum mining companies. So we know that unfortunately now they had to close down their operations because of what's happening in China. In China. So this company, which is called Spark Pool Mining, it makes up to 22% of Ethereum's global hash rate. So it's slightly lower than Ethermine, which is on 24%. So it was just 2% apart. So that is the reason why it is actually said to be the second biggest. So unfortunately, because of all the news and everything that's happening in China, they have now officially suspended the access to new users in China. This was on Monday, which was yesterday. And not only China, but all the other countries, unfortunately. So they have said that by Friday, they will continue shutting down all their services and they plan to suspend also the existing pool users, both in China and everywhere else by this week, Thursday. So this is very, very sad news in the crypto space because of the government of China saying that speaking negatively about crypto and declaring all crypto related transactions as illegal from their country so because of that now companies are closing down which also goes back to all the people that were employed here are now going to be losing their jobs all the people that were using this company now need to be getting their money back so you see this is a very 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 bad day in crypto because of what's happening in china but we know that our crypto will not die just because of China. All right. Um, yeah, look, it's uh, it's good. I'll say it's a good opportunity that is happening now. I feel like uh, we centralizing everything, especially especially yes. the, the mining in China. We need to decentralize mining. Could it be Bitcoin mining, whichever mining, which is based in China? It has to be dissolved. I look for my personal reasons, I'll say this is good for crypto. I mean, we need to really stop this thing of uh, 
putting everything in China. I mean, uh, centralizing everything in China. We, 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 this market needs to be decentralized, not trust yes. everything in China. I mean, China has always been uh, that. From the beginning, they always uh, had problems with the cryptocurrency market. They always banned crypto one way or another. So we, we, we could see the problem from a distance. So why can't, you know, uh, big guys in the space, you know, say that, you know, we don't need China, we don't need China. We we, 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 we need to decentralize this market out from China. We need to remove China from the equation, from the yeah, ecosystem, from the equation, from the, you know, from this mathematics. So, yeah, look, um, let's wake up. Let's catch a wake up, everyone. All right. Um, Market analysis. Do you have anything on the market analysis? No. All right, uh, let's that see. Up. So while you're pulling that up for us, let me just show our viewers how we actually subscribe. So this is what you need to do. All you need to do is go to YouTube and look for Empire Crypto TV, and this is how you subscribe. Okay, all right. No, Christoph, uh, yes, uh, members need to subscribe to remain part of our family. Uh, where is that? Uh, yes. Okay, all right. Uh, let me just put it up. Okay, right. Here's the market. We see um, uh, Bitcoin still like struggling. Now it's been bouncing between 41,000 and 43,000 dollars. Uh, throughout the day and uh, yeah look ethereum also it just uh, gone down 2800 us dollars it has actually gone down from 3000 us dollars yes. that has been holding for some days and cardano cardano came down also five percent in the past 24 hours um binance coin bnb 331 usd um yeah look it's, it's it's really not looking good in the market it's still the uh, the market is bleeding i would say yes. um but yeah look these are the opportunities for people to really uh buy more buy more of your favorite coins i mean yes. when the market is dipping you buy your coins the market is dipping you buy your coins. it's september now going for october and uh, I've got a feeling that we're going to see the scenario that happened in 2017. I was there, I saw it, I witnessed it. Um, it's almost the same scenario that's happening now, this scenario that actually happened in, in 2017 season, 2017 bull run. So I think I've got a feeling, a big feeling that we're going to, the market is going to repeat the same movement, the same scenario that happened back in 2017 around this time around going to december 2017 it was more much exciting it was much exciting i mean um counts were being doubled so much money was being made uh during that season what do you think yes i actually see this as an opportunity because people have been always asking us when is the best time for me to buy my cryptos so the market is giving people a second, 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 second. I don't know how many chances, but we always say it's a second chance. Even if it's the 10th chance, we call it a second chance. So the market is giving us second of 100 chances to buy into crypto and to make sure that we are not left behind this time around. All right. Now, that's it. The, our opportunities are always there. When the market is going down, it's a very good uh, opportunity to buy more of your cryptos so opportunities are always there you just have to trust your cards and then uh, dive into the market and do the right thing but do not forget to do your own research do as much thorough research so before you get involved or before you buy anything before you buy any project 
do your own research and of course look um we always live here at 7 p.m giving you some insights strategies go to our youtube channel empire crypto tv subscribe do not just watch videos without subscribing subscribe so that we can see that you are part of our family you're part of the family and uh, whenever we've got some giveaways we only give to people who have subscribed on our youtube channel we only give to people who are part of the family subscription guys does not mean you have to pay anything subscribing you just press the button subscribe you don't pay anything you, there's no money that you pay there's no membership or whatsoever the reason you just subscribe then you part of uh, our family every time we go live we you can actually see get a notification that uh we are live at empire crypto tv that uh that's uh the good thing of it so yeah can you close for us crypto send if you do not have anything uh more than this for the day okay so thank you everyone again for being with us tonight and learning about the internet of things we definitely know that we have learned a thing or two so make sure that you are with us again tomorrow same place same time same place 7 p.m until 8 we are here monday to friday empire crypto tv making sure that we're educating you in the crypto space. So not only are we telling you about crypto coins, but we are telling you about blockchain and making sure that you know exactly everything in blockchain and in the crypto space. So tomorrow we'll definitely be here again. Make sure you are with us. And don't forget, crypto was here yesterday. The crypto is here today. And crypto will definitely be here tomorrow. Thank you very much and good night. Amen.